Welcome to the new Hot 5 and 5, where we cover the 5 biggest stories in the gaming industry of the week in 5 minutes or less. This will be a weekly scripted news series hosted by myself, BK Bossman, and Charlie ZRS. Before we begin episode 8, I would just like to announce that episode 7 of Hot 5 and 5 was the first of the series to be taken down worldwide due to a copyright claim by Activision. Now, let's get into this week's episode. Microsoft has created a new formal policy for creating content while using assets from their games. Now while this policy has been in effect for a little over a week, it's become popular news as a reason for outrage among part of the YouTube gaming community. Host of popular gaming news show Hashtag Drama Alert, Keemstar recently expressed his outrage at part of the new policy in a recent video which seemed to be greatly supported. What either troubled or is still troubling most gamers is how gamers interpreted part of the policy. Part of the policy stated that you may not include the name of the Microsoft game in your item's title, and gamers interpreted that to be where you cannot include the name of the game in your title at all. However, Xbox's Major Nelson clarified this new ruling on his blog, explaining how the wording will be updated to prevent further confusion. What the ruling apparently meant was that creators may not use Microsoft game titles in their item to give the impression that Microsoft is the source of the item, authorized it, or endorsed it. So titles like Let's Play Halo are fine, but titles like Halo Semicolon Covenant Strike are objected to. Destiny beat out Grand Theft Auto V and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare to claim the title of 2014's best-selling PlayStation 4 game on the PlayStation Network. Sony announced the news Friday in a post on the PlayStation blog, also revealing the best-selling PS4, PS3, and PS Vita games of the year. It's not much of a surprise that Destiny did so well on PlayStation 4, considering Sony basically treated it the game as a first-party title, and also featuring it in bundles. Check out the top 10 sales listed on the screen right now. Number 1, Destiny. 2, Grand Theft Auto 5. 3, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, followed by Minecraft, PlayStation 4 Edition, and The Last of Us Remastered. Another arrest was filed with the connection of the Sony and Xbox hackings. In the United Kingdom, an 18-year-old man was arrested on January 16th at an address in Southport near Liverpool. He was accused of unauthorized access to computer material and knowingly providing false information to law enforcement and threats to kill. This investigation is a good example of joint law enforcement cooperation in relation to a type of criminality that is not restricted by any geographical boundaries, Syracuse Cybercrime Unit Craig Jones explained. Association of Police Officers Cybersecurity Lead Peter Goodman added, This arrest demonstrates that we will pursue those who commit crime with false perception that they are protected within their own homes or hide behind anonymous online personas. He explained more about one of the charges referred to as swatting, which involved law enforcement forces in the United States receiving hoax calls via Skype for a major incident in which SWAT teams were dispatched. Rockstar Games this week announced that the long-awaited PC version of the acclaimed open-world action game has been delayed for a second time. It was originally due to a launch in fall of 2014 alongside the Xbox One and PS4 editions, but was later pushed to January 27th and then again this week to March 24th, 2015. Microsoft has recently lowered the price of buying an Xbox One console in the US. Coming into effect last Friday, January 16th, the price of purchasing the console is now $350, $50 less than it used to be. Being the best-selling console of December and what you could call the holiday season, Corporate Vice President of Marketing Mike Nichols announced on the Xbox website that Xbox was building off of a record-setting holiday, and that excited fans of the US can purchase an Xbox One for $349 at their favorite retailer. However, it's been confirmed that this price cut is only temporary according to Microsoft, though it is unclear when the sale will end. The price of the console is set to return to $400. That's Drop 5 and 5 for this week, January 11th to the 17th. Thank you for watching, be sure to check back next week for a brand new Hot 5 and 5 episode. Improvements are always on our mind, so if you have anything that we should fix, add, change, or remove, then be sure to leave a comment below. Again, thank you for watching this Hot 5 and 5, we hope you enjoyed. This is BAK Bossman signing out. Happy gaming!